What is up guys, in this video we're going to be going over type conversion or type casting so that we can convert our variables into different data types because there are going to be situations that we have a string and we want to use it as an integer and vice versa. So the first example we're going to create is a variable which is going to be called number and just as I mentioned earlier it's going to be a string of a number so as you can see, number is 1000. Now we want to go ahead and create a result, which is going to equal number plus 10. And then we're going to print this result. When we run the program, or actually that's my fault because I did not create a variable there. So now when we run the program, we're going to get an error because we cannot concatenate or add the string of number with a normal number we're going to have to convert this to an actual number. And to do it is actually very straightforward. We just need to surround it by parentheses and add the keyword int in front of it. So now when we convert the number to an integer, we can safely add them together. Although we need to unwrap it because what this returns is an optional. For example, if we remove this, it's going to say optional 1000 because trying to cast something to an integer might also return something that is not an integer, especially if we have the value of hello here. This is not going to know how to handle that. So let's go back to what we had earlier. And the way to do this is to either add the exclamation mark because we need to unwrap the optional or to add the nil coalescing operator. So we're just going to do that. So we're going to try to convert it to a number. If it doesn't convert to a number, we're just going to return the value of zero. So if we run this, we're going to get 1000. And again, this is my fault because we need to wrap this in parentheses. So now we will get 1010 because what I had earlier was it's going to return the int number or zero plus 10. So what the parentheses does is prevent it from doing that order of operation in the wrong way. But now let's go ahead and write something such as hello, as I mentioned earlier and the nil coalescing operator is going to set the default value to zero. So that's going to save us some time over there. But now let's go ahead and pretend we want to add the number of 100 to a string. So now we're going to go ahead and type in number plus hello. So if we try to run this, we're going to get the same error as earlier. We cannot concatenate a number with a string without doing anything to it. So what we have to do is the same thing as earlier. We're going to add the word string in front of the number. So this is going to convert it to a string. And since converting a number to a string or anything to a string is quite safe, there's nothing you can really do wrong. We do not have to add the nil coalescing operator. So when we run the program, it's going to say 100 hello, because now this is a string which can be added to another string. But let's make this a bit simpler. So we can go ahead and create a print statement and we're going to type in 100 plus 10.5. So as you can see, right now we're trying to append an integer to a float. And this is what they call implicit conversion because the program is smart enough to know that we want to add a float to an integer. So it's going to allow us to do that and it's going to convert everything to a float. And if we decide to add a double to a float, it's going to turn the float into a double. So if we run the program, we're going to get a double as a return. And finally, let's go ahead and type in let is connected equal the string value of true. So we cannot use this as a Boolean because it is a string value. And you're going to witness stuff like this when we start handling JSON data, because when we get a response from the internet, usually it's returned as a string. And sometimes it's returned as a pure Boolean or a number, but sometimes we have to actually convert it ourselves. So, for example, if we have a variable that's called is connected and it's set to true, but it's a string, when we go ahead and print it, it's going to be true, but we cannot evaluate this as a Boolean expression. We cannot go ahead and type in if is connected. So what we have to do is go ahead and use the keyword Boolean. And inside here, we can add is connected. Now, when we return this, we're going to get a real Boolean. And since it's not guaranteed that we inserted a data type that, that can be a Boolean, we're going to have to add the nil coalescing operator. And I'm just going to return false. If is connected is not a real Boolean. So now if we return it, we will get true. If we write something that is random, we're going to get false because this cannot be converted. But to sum this up, if you want to convert any data type into another data type, all you have to do is provide either integer and insert 
what you want to convert here. Or you can change this to a float or to a double, to a string, or of course to a Boolean. And that's a very simple way to cast data types into different data types. But that's actually all I wanted to cover in this video. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start looking at functions in Swift.